Welcome to another episode of The World's Greatest Detective, with your hero and mine, the fearless and feckless detective, Charles S.W. Bilks, Jr., the second. It was a night like any other. The sun was down, the jack was open, and I was wondering why I keep such strange office hours. I couldn't help but think how much easier it would be for my clients to reach me during the day. I was swigging down vigorous gulp after gulp in a spurious attempt to quiet the demons of my Chipotle burrito as they made their ill-fated trek from my stomach to the farther reaches of my overtaxed digestive system. Fifteen hundred calories in one meal. God help us. Mr. Daniels caressed my woes away like a soft spring breeze delivers the scent of lilacs. <clears throat> Sweet Mary, Mother of God. As my eyes heaved a massive breath of sight, I remembered why I got into this private dickin' game. Dames. No, just legs. Legs that go on for days. Legs that are simply too fantastic to cover up, even though it's early March. Legs so good they challenge the very limits of Euclidean geometry. Legs so tearfully poignant. <clears throat> are, are you talking, talking about, about me? me? She asked. No, no, I was, I was just, just talking, talking on my telephone, telephone. I replied. My speaker telephone. Let me just turn that off right here. So, what brings a bird like you to a dick like me anyway? I asked, already knowing what she would say. I think my husband has been cheating on me, she replied. The story never changes, just the details. Some punk that has everything he could ever dream of starts working late, has mysterious scratches on his body, suddenly becomes obsessed about deleting his instant messaging chat history. Then the broad grows tired of the runaround game and gets all dolled up to come to me. Partially because she wants to discover the truth about her husband. Partially as a cry for help. This spinning ball of rock we call home can get lonelier than Sputnik. So she meticulously spells out every last detail of her husband's nefarious ways. Then it's a simple game of wait and see for me and my little friend a telephoto lens. At which point she'll have the proof she needs to ditch him like Skylab. There is one saving grace, I suppose. Her husband will get to see her go. Those legs are neither here nor there. They are everywhere. Those legs could make a grown man based in his own tearful humanity. Those legs ask not what this country can do for them. Legs that make it distressingly clear that the internet is not better than the real thing. Legs, legs, bo bags, banana, nana, fo fags, a fee, fa, fo fe. Maybe I should have taken some notes while she was here. Or maybe I should have just taken some pictures. <laughs> no, really. At the very least, I should have written down her name and number. That's it for this week's episode of The World's Greatest Detective, brought to you by Dr. Man's All-Purpose Baby Malady Tonic. Keep your baby healthy by giving them Dr. Man's All-Purpose Baby Malady Tonic whenever they've gone flush with the chills. Mmm, that's good baby tonic. Next week on The World's Greatest Detective, our intrepid hero attempts to find the answer to a question he doesn't even know. Bilks will use a space-age counting machine to scour the ends of the Earth for his mark, casting out a dragnet vast enough to ensnare the entire planet in his World Wide Web. Detective Belks will methodically pursue his prey, leaving no stone unturned, no ten-digit combination undialed. Hello, Mrs. Abersoll. This is Detective Bilks. I'm just going to follow up with you. Fantastic, your phone does work. <coughs> 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 
Hello, Mrs. Aber's son. Detective Belts will call on his clandestine informants in the criminal underworld. Mercenaries of information. Spoke party. Look, I need some information. That information's gonna cost you, Belts. I got this free uh, day spa treatment gift certificate I need to give to my secretary on Secretary's Day, but it turns out she's a dude. I'm a dude, Bilks! Oh, yeah. Well, you are good. What the hell do you need from me, Bilks? Look, I need some information on a client. Uh, she was in my office last night, and I need uh, some kind of information on her. A telephone number, a name, any info. Let me get this straight. Are you asking for information on your own? Your own fucking clients? You gotta be fucking kidding me. I swear to God, Bill, you are the most incompetent person I've ever met in my life. She's about like a, a 31 in scene. Give me the fucking bounce. And just when things couldn't look worse, when all the forces of nature are conspiring against him, the world's greatest detective knows how to call on sheer, inexplicable, improbable luck. Detective Bilks, how are you? I've been meaning to talk to you. Jackpot. <laughs> Join us next time for The World's Greatest Detective.